the reason why they should address it now is because there are some external military bodies that are about to send military aid to the Biafran mo uh, 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 restoration movement. And the moment these military weapons enter their hands, Nigeria army will not be able to contain them. The war we will see is not like the before. This is bush war, desert war. And Biafra will never give up. I'm sorry to say this. Nigeria force. What I'm seeing can never defeat the Biafra soldiers. To you all in the name of the Most High. Hope you all are having a beautiful time wherever you are working from. So I watched a video this morning of a pastor where he said the Afra is here to stay, you know, because according to the pastor, the Afra has been approved in heaven. And he also said something, even though he didn't actually say straightforward, you know, but he said something like the Afra army will win the war. So watch this. But the beginning of it is bad. This year, the numbers of Biafrans that will die is going to be many. Because crowd, crowd, government, and the Biafran soldiers. These people are preparing. These people are preparing soon. Nothing has ever happened now. It will happen. Then after that war, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. A conference meeting is going to be held by the World Union. And Biafra leader is there. Nigeria government leader is there. And I saw wise people dialoguing. And the Biafra leader said no. Soon. The step that Biafra will take this year has never happened. I saw them on meeting. I'm watching them. And Biafra refused to withdraw. The alternative is to give them what they want. So, Republic of Biafra has been approved in heaven. It has been approved. You people say that Trump would have been of help. No. This one. God will change him. The war we will see is not like the before. This is bush war, desert war. And Biafra will never give up. I'm sorry to say this. Nigeria force. What I'm seeing can never defeat the Biafra soldiers. This is what I say. I'm just a messenger. What we need to pray that the shedding of blood is not going to be much because.
the Nigerian soldiers are our brothers and husbands. The Biafra soldiers are our husband and, and brothers and uncle. But let the blood of innocent souls speak for their own people. This is what I saw this year. This particular year. This particular year. That is the video. My comment on this video is, well, he's a man of God. He's a spiritual person. But at the end of the day, God do not fight, you know, physical warfare. I mean, irrespective of how spiritual you are, when you go to war, you know, it's going to be between you and the next man. God do not interfere or fight physical warfare. And I also believe that God cannot predict the outcome of a war, you know. It's like predicting who is going to win the Champions League, you know. I don't think God can predict such. Even though I will always stand by my words that I'm not a fan of war because war is scary and, you know, war should not be the only option. But I see that a lot of people are, you know, willing to go to war. They've made up their mind that it's either war or nothing. And I'm certain that some people will come to the comment section to abuse or, you know, to cuss me out. <laughs> As usual, some will come to insult me. But at the end of the day, I don't make decisions for Biafra. I'm just having a conversation. I can't stop any war from happening. Same way I can't start a war. So I'm just talking. So <laughs> I'm a nobody. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, I'm just a spectator, you know. I will not fight alongside the Nigerian army. Same way, I will not fight alongside the Bian Front, you know, army. I'm neutral. Here is another video of a pastor, but this pastor is from Cameroon. So, watch and listen attentively. And this prophecy now is for Nigeria. Someone say Nigeria. Have you are watching watching SM Fire TV? Yes, they are watching Nigeria now. Live. You are watching SM Fire TV in Nigeria. This is coming from Cameroon, the city of Boya. From the SCM, we are in the city of Boya, Cameroon here. And uh and I'm God's servant prophet B call is Nya. Somebody shall fire my bones. Hallelujah. The Lord said Nigeria should number one. He said Niger today is the 15th of October, right? The Lord said, Nigerians should, should not stop praying. The Lord said, heat is still rising from the middle belt. That's the first thing the Lord said. Then number two, the Lord concerning Nigeria today in prophecy. The Lord said, Ni the, <laughs> the, Lord said Ni the Nigerian authority should address the Biafran issue. This is a serious one. Nigerians hear this. And should I reach the pres presidency? I'm hoping to be in Nigeria soon. Hopefully, I'll pass through the presidency. Hallelujah. Amen. I've written many letters to them. Their convoy have come here before. I think the month of March, their convoy came here from, right all the way from Nigeria. And I think I'll see document this prophecy and send to the leadership there. The Lord says Nigeria should address the breath. Biafran issue and the Lord said by next year that's 2024 it will be difficult to address it and the Lord says the reason why they should address it now is because there are some external military bodies that are about to send military aid to the Biafran mo uh, 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 restoration movements and the moment these military weapons enter their hands, Nigeria army will not be able to contain them. You see the issue in Cameroon? Some of us saw it right in 2015 and prophesied it. Then I was still in Bamenda. And they did not, you know, they take it for granted. 
we reach a point they don't have, they, that's when they begin to look for us prophets but we are giving this message now to nigeria there's an external body that want to empower the biafran soldiers the movement and if those weapons finally enter their hand 2024 it will be difficult to contain them as i said earlier a lot of people have made up their mind to fight you know to go to war i mean to do whatever it takes to get Biafra. It's 2024 and you know warfare has changed and you really can't predict how a war would end or you know who is gonna win a war. But I personally think it's going to be you know a difficult battle, a difficult task for the Nigerian armed forces, you know the Navy, the Army, the Air Force because what if the Afra right now has 500,000 soldiers, let's say 250 active and 250 in reserve. That is going to be a difficult task for the Nigerian government because when you can rally around 500,000 people to fight for a cause, bro, 500,000 people is a lot. And when you want to go to war against 500,000 soldiers, you need to ask yourself, <laughs> are you really ready for this battle? The reason I said this is because I don't know if the Nigerian armed forces, you know, the Navy, the Air Force and the Army can boast of 300,000 active personnel. I don't know. And I'm not sure if the Nigerian you know, armed forces even have up to 200,000 soldiers in their reserve. So if they are to go to war, considering the numbers of the eagles that are willing to fight right now, I think it's going to be a long, long war. And there's going to be a lot of bloodshed and of course, you know, people will commit a lot of war crimes. So, as I've always said, I think war is brutal, you know, and war shouldn't be the only option that is just my take <laughs> so thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed this video do me a favor by smashing the like and subscribe button i remain at your third day see you guys on the next one peace out